quick. Absolutely, and Ponte de Leon so far trying to land what is almost like a catapult-like left hand, the southpaw. And now Gonzalez putting together a three-punch combination. WBC featherweight champ making his fifth title defense. The former WBO bantamweight champion. Left hook to the body and the head, and uh, Gonzalez, as I mentioned earlier, has scored Ooh. knockouts with that punch. Yeah. They picked it up a little bit when the booze came. Ponce de Leon moves Gonzalez back as we head to the third round. Cut on the hairline of Ponce de Leon. Sorry, Al. No, I'm sorry, Merle. That was a, a good right hand by Gonzalez. Both men are active. It's not as if they're not throwing. They're just not able to land as effectively as they'd like. Good right by Gonzalez, though. Ponce de Leon now coming forward. And right to the body by... 15 seconds left in the third round. This for Johnny Gonzalez's WBC featherweight championship. Ponce de Leon going over top with the left hand, then a straight left through the guard. Another left hand for Ponce de Leon, who's backing up as we go to round four. Sterling Southpaw fighting the Orthodox champion, and there the Southpaw lands the left. So he understands that it can go both ways. But yeah, since he's losing to Nishioka and hooking up with the Hall of Fame trainer, better stay in here. And blood again flowing, but it doesn't appear to be impairing Ponce de Leon's vision as Gonzalez lands the left hand. Ponce de Leon comes back with a left of his own, and round four's in the books. As a fight, as he started getting hit with a couple of pot shots and counters, now he's kind of mixed it up. He comes forward, he goes backwards. Both of them employing the stick and move strategy, trying to work the angles. Gonzalez now comes in. And, and Gonzalez now mixing in more left hooks to the body, which I think is a smart idea on his part. See, it's setting up the right hand now. And, he, and he's also counterpunching a little better now. Left hook by the challenger, and another left tries to get through the guard. Ponce de Leon initiating. Gone here in the sixth round. Again, blood workout, workout, trickling workout. from that cut work, stop, stop, stop. on the top. Here in the midway point here of the sixth round, straight right from the champion Gonzalez. De Leon has a habit a lot of times when he throws in that left hand, he lunges in. Al made alluded to it earlier, saying that uh, he shouldn't lunge in. Champion Gonzalez and challenger Ponce de Leon, final five seconds. Ponce de Leon now coming forward and oh! In a round, I thought Gonzalez was winning. Flipped here with a with a kind of a wild left hand. It seems he hooks it, yeah, hooks it out of the southpaw stance, which is a weird punch to throw, and it, obviously you don't expect it. And he definitely got hurt, and the follow-up drops him. Nice body shot on the follow-up too by De Leon. Won a decision, and that was in the same year, so you can judge them a little bit by that in some respects. Ponce de Leon goes to the body, then goes upstairs with the right, and Gonzalez doubled over. Ponce de Leon attacking the body again, has to be careful to punch. Ponce de Leon again working the body in the final minute now of the seventh round. De Leon, de Leon breaking him down. He's, he he's starting to break Gonzalez down. He recorded the knockdown late in round six, and Paulie, you're right. the show stats, you know, you're, those numbers thrown, it's going to make a big difference. Ponce de Leon beginning to find a home for that straight left hand through Gonzalez's guard. Gonzalez then with a straight right through Ponce de Leon's guard. And Gonzalez went down and through the ropes at the end of round six following a flurry of punches from the challenger. Yeah, even, he, even he needed a break, I think. Yeah. He's been very oh, busy. Clash of heads. And another accidental oh, clash of heads as they uh, batter each other like Rams. And we've seen this time and again when you've got the uh, southpaw against the orthodox mm. fighter. And Johnny Gonzalez has a bad cut. We look at where this happened. 
De Leon coming in, and you made the point earlier, Paulie. When he lunges in, that had... And uh, Gonzalez cannot see out of the right eye. And they are going to go to the scorecards for a technical decision. An unfortunate turn of events here in this WBC featherweight championship bout technical decision he is the new WBC featherweight champion of the world Daniel Ponce de Leon it may have not been the way any of us would have uh, wanted to see it end but Daniel Ponce de Leon for the second time in his career is a world champion